Hi, this is Harold, currently in Singapore, unfortunately without my mic. Um, but I just want to do a very quick uh, comment on the topic of abortion. Uh, I'm not going to talk about internal U.S. politics between uh, national women's rights versus uh, decentralization and, and you know, the evolving of power to the states. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update on the situation in China because I think a lot of people aren't aware of this. So in China, any woman can do an abortion and basically until the ninth month, until uh, before birth, more or less, uh, unless there's a health reason not to do the abortion. Um, so it's absolutely the choice of the woman. The, any man, like family, father or husband or anyone, does not have the right to reject or interfere in the woman's choice. And if you ask for the law, so there is an article that I found that explains basically there's no law about abortion, but there is one line in, in the law about women's rights where it says every woman has the right to have a child or not have a child which is the legal basis to say women have the right to decide whether they want to get an abortion. So it's pretty much <laughs> the woman's body is the decision of the woman how to handle and it's not any choice of a man to interfere with that. That said, obviously in family circles there would be a lot of pressure if a husband wants to keep the child but that's not a legal pressure, that's really just a cultural pressure. So that was all. I just wanted to do this quick update because I think it's a very urgent topic and it's a big hot topic internationally currently. So I just wanted to give you an update on the Chinese situation.